Hi, everybody, and welcome to the show. It is good to have you with us, and it is a very solemn day here in New York and across the country, for that matter, as gun violence takes the lives of at least two police officers in 24 hours. Rookie NYPD officer Jason Rivera and Texas Corporal Charles Galloway were both shot and killed in the line of duty. Now, here in New York City, the mayor and retired policeman, Eric Adams, is standing beside his brothers in blue. I have the facts of my police officer. NYC Mayor Eric Adams declares war on gun violence after two of New York's finest are shot on the job. LaShawn McNeil allegedly fired at NYPD officers Jason Rivera and Wilbert Mora as they responded to a domestic violence call placed by his mother. Both policemen are rushed to Harlem Hospital in squad cars. Officer Mora is alive and remains in grave condition. Tragically, rookie Officer Rivera is pronounced dead. The 22-year-old's brothers in blue line the streets as his body is transferred to the funeral home. His young widow visiting his locker after his death and writing on Instagram, fly high, my beautiful angel. This is a battle between the killers and New Yorkers. And we are not going to lose that battle. The weapon recovered from the crime scene is a stolen Glock 9mm gun. The suspect was out on probation at the time of this shooting. Daily Mail TV can confirm McNeil has died from injuries suffered that night. And the New York governor, Kathy Hochul, is announcing a new task force to reduce the flow of illegal guns into the state. Meanwhile, Mayor Adams is rolling out a new modified plainclothes anti-gun unit. More than 1,100 people have died nationwide from gun violence in 2022, including 17 police officers. Violence won't divide us. It will unite us. We are going to unite around this issue. Funeral services for Officer Rivera will be this Friday. That's following a wake at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Our thoughts do go out to all the families of fallen officers across the country.